Hi everyone. We are the students of Vishwakarma Institute of Technology, Pune, from first year, Group Third of F Division. Hi, my name is Isha Manhas, and today we will be discussing about memory and types of memory. In first slide, we have what is memory. In computer architecture, computer memory refers to the electronic devices that store data and instructions from a computer system to access and manipulate. A computer is just like a human brain. It is used to store data and instruction. Computer memory is the storage space in the computer where data is to be processed and instructions required for processing are stored. The memory is divided into large number of small parts called cells. Each location or cell has a unique address which varies from 0 to memory size minus 1. Now in next slide we have classification of memory. Memory is classified into four types primary, secondary, cache and resistor. Primary is further divided into two parts, RAM and ROM. In RAM, we have static and dynamic. In ROM, we have ROM, EROM, EPROM. In secondary, we have hard disk, magnetic tape, CD, DVD, zip disk, etc. Now my friend will explain the further. Hi all, Prasanna here. Now let's talk about the types of the memories. The first one is cache memory. The second is primary or main memory. The third is secondary memory. And the fourth is resistor memory. Now let's talk about the cache memory. Cache memory is a chip based computer component that makes retrieving data from the computer's memory more efficient. It acts as a temporary storage area that the computer processors can retrieve data from easily. Cache is a very high speed semiconductor memory which can speed up the CPU. It acts as a buffer between the CPU and the main memory. It is used to hold those parts of data and, and programs which are most frequently used by the CPU. The parts of data and programs are transferred from the disk to cache memory by operating system from where the CPU can access them. This is all about the cache memory. Now let's talk about the next topic and which will be explained by my friend Elton. Hello everyone, Elton here. We will be now discussing on primary memory. Primary memory, also known as the main memory, holds only those data and instructions on which the computer is currently working. It has a limited capacity and data is lost when the power is switched off. It is generally made of a semiconductor device. These memories are not as fast as registers. The data and instruction required to be processed resides in the main memory. It is divided further into two subcategories known as random access memory and read-only memory. In the next slide, we will be discussing on the characteristics of primary memory. Firstly, these are semiconductor memories. They are also known as the main memory, which are usually volatile memory. Data is lost in case the power is switched off. It is the working memory of the computer, faster than the secondary memories, and also a computer cannot run without the primary memory. In the next slide, my friend will be explaining about secondary memory. Hello, everyone. Aditya here. And today, I'll be explaining the topic of secondary memory. This type of memory is also known as external memory or non-volatile. It is slower than the main memory and they are used for storing data or information permanently. And here, CPU directly doesn't access this memory. Instead, they are accessed via input-output routines. Uh, the contents of secondary memories are first transferred to the main memory and then the CPU can access it. For example, disk, CD, CD-ROM, DVD, etc. These are also known as external or, or auxiliary memory. 
and some characteristics of the secondary memory are these are magnetic and optical memories it is also known as the backup memory it is mainly non volatile memory and here data is permanently stored even if power is switched off and it is used for storing data in computer computer may run without the secondary memory that means it is not required to run the computers and also the main fact is that they are slower than the primary memories and the next slide will be explained by my friend shreyas hi myself shreyas i am here to explain the some of the examples of the secondary memory here are some of the examples of the secondary memory such as uh, pen drive floppy disk and hard disk uh, pen drive when compared to more non uh, conventional methods of the data storage pen drives offer superior levels of the protection due to their durability and inability to become damaged by the scratches uh, due to uh, because of these advantages of the pen drive it is prominent prominent example of the secondary memory uh, hard, hard disk a hard disk is also known as hdd was formerly known formally known formally known as a fixed disk it is the type of the non volatile storage device that stores digitally encoded da data on rapidly rotating platter with the magnetic surfaces floppy disk a floppy disk is a storage medium that consists of the thin and flexible magnetic disk inside a plastic carrier so here we will move on to register memory a register memory is the smallest and fastest memory in the computer it is not a part of the main memory and is located and is located in the cpu in the form of the registers which are the smallest data holding elements a register temporarily holds frequency frequently used as data instructions and memory addresses that are to be used by the cpu they hold the they hold the instructions that are currently processed by the cpu all data is required to pass through the registers before it can be processed so they are used by the cpu to process the data entered by the user so now we will see the some of the needs of the register memory CPU registers are very helpful for handling instructions quickly. It is at the top of the hierarchy of the computer memory and is significantly faster as compared to the other computer memory. Any type of the small data including register addresses and instructions can be stored there. These registers enable the CPU to function function effectively and meaningfully. Uh, so the next slide will be explained by Pius Hi myself Pius today I am going to explain difference between cache memory and register so definition of cache memory in a computer system the cache is the smallest and fastest part, part of memory <coughs> definition of register the register which make it up a minor portion of the computer cpu are quick storage components now the data stored in cache memory a computer cache stores the information and data that is recently used and data stored in register the register serve to store data that the computer cpu is currently processing <coughs> you the cache memory used by cpu in order to find previously stored data the cpu makes use of cache memory now the register used by cpu register are used by the cpu to process all the data and info that is new now the location of cache memory the cache of a cache of a computer can be found either inside the cpu or on the motherboard of the system now location of register registers are components of cpu of a computer device now cache memory data processing it keeps information in a process state now register data processing it keeps information in an unprocessed state <coughs> cpu memory access speed of cache memory as compared to register memory a system cpu can access cache memory significantly more quickly a cpu memory access speed in register a cpu can perform numerous operations on the contents of the register during a single clock cycle while working with the registers the examples of cache memory examples of cache memory include the database query check cache dynamic page cache and more now the register examples and instance of the register is the loop now in this uh, figure it is given that the cpu consists of cpu stands for central processing unit and it consists of registers arithmetic and logic units and control unit and then the main memory consists of rem that is random access memory and then in input output there are controllers which are all the disk drives thank you